this is called the point slope form which is y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. Now m is the slope and it's also called, known as the gradient. Okay, In some books they call gradient. So m is the slope or the gradient. Now gradient is rise over run or change in y. So let me write like this, change in y over change in x, change in x. So m can also be written as, if you've got two points, you can write y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, where x1, y1, and x2, y2 are the two points. So how can we prove this formula? So this is a well-known formula, so let's draw a Cartesian plane, so this is your y-axis, and so this is your x-axis. And let's draw an arbitrary line. Okay, so and let's take two points. So this is point A, having the coordinate x1, comma, y1, x1, comma, y1, and so this is B, having the coordinate x2, comma, y2. And we've got a point P, arbitrary point P, having the coordinate x comma y. Okay, so let's join uh, a, and to form a right angle triangle. So this is one right angle triangle. And let's, let me extend this and form the other right angle triangle. Okay. So yeah, this is a right angle. So this is a, this is M. This is the origin. Say, so let me call this M, and this is N. This is a right angle. This is a right angle. So I'm forming two right angle triangles. So I'm we are looking at triangle AMP, AMP, and triangle ANB, ANB. So you've got two right angles. This is a common angle, okay? And this angle, these two are parallel lines, and you can consider this as a transversal. So these are parallel lines, and this is a transversal. So you can say this angle is equal to this angle because they are corresponding angles. So now we can say very clearly these two triangles are similar. So you can say triangle AMP is similar to triangle A and B. Okay, so A and P, this is the daughter triangle, and A and B is the mother triangle. So let's, so what is this length? So the distance, so the distance from year to year, so what would be this length? This length would be x minus x1. This is x minus x1. Now what is this length from year to year? This length, the mother, so from a to n, would be x2 minus x1. Can I say this is x2 minus x1? This length, so I'm talking about pm. pm is y minus y1, y minus y1, and this side, pn, would be y2 minus y1. So this is y2 minus y1. So as two triangles are similar, can I say, uh, can I say y minus y1, if you take this side to this side, if you take the ratio of y2, y minus y1, y minus y1, or you can say, take the ratio of this over this, over y2 minus y1, y2 minus y1 is equal to y minus y1 divided by y2 minus y1 is equal to x minus x1, 
divided by x2 minus x1. Okay, so now I'm going to cross multiply. I'm going to move this, or I'm going to multiply both side by y2 minus y1. So can I say y minus y1 is equal to, uh, let me write this as it is, x minus x1 over x2 minus x1 times y2 minus y1. Okay, so what has happened now? So this implies I can say y2 y minus y1 rearranging this. This is product, so you can multiply in any order. So this is same as saying y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 times x minus x1. Now what is this? y2 minus y1, that's the change in y, and x2 minus x1 is a change in x. And so this is also, this is this formula is also very useful. This is called point-point equation. Point-point equation. If you've got two points, you can just use this formula. If you know this formula, y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 times x minus x1. I'll take an example using both the formula. So if you want to, this is what? What is this? This is the gradient. This is m. So this is what we saw, uh, point slope method, y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. So both these formulas, so this, this is called gradient intercept method or gradient slope method. Gradient. This is the gradient uh, point method. Okay, gradient uh, or point gradient method. Point. This one you've got one point and a gradient. Okay, one point and a gradient equation. Okay, so let's take an example. Okay, so uh, suppose you've got two points, minus two one, negative two one, and three comma two. 3, 2. So it's always good to draw, have a visual understanding. Negative 2, 1. Say this is negative 2. This is 1. So this is this point. And 3, 2. 1, 2, 3, 2. So this is 3, 2. And this is negative 2, 1. So let's use the formula. So the formula says, let's define this as x1, this is y1, this is x1, y1, this is x2, comma, y2. So if you know the formula, you don't have to, uh, you have to just apply the formula. So let's write the formula, y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 times x minus x1. This will directly give you the formula. So just apply the formula, uh, substitute the value, so you can say y minus y1. What is y1? y1 is 1 is equal to y2 minus y1. y2 is 2. So 2 minus y1, y1 is 1, over x2 minus x1. So this is 3 take away negative 2 times x minus x1. x1 is negative 2. So you have to do a sim uh, simplify this. So the x minus 1 is equal to 2 minus 1 is 1 and 3 take away negative 2 is 3 plus 2 which is 5 over x plus 2. So let's simplify this a little. So this is y minus 1 is equal to 1 fifth x, expanding this, 2 times 1 fifth is 2 fifth. So y minus, so 1, you can write minus 1, you can add to both sides. So y is equal to 1 fifth x plus 2 fifth plus 1. Okay, 
So simplifying this, so y is equal to 1 fifth x plus 2 fifth plus 1, I can write as 5 over 5. So the final equation is y is equal to 1 fifth x plus 7 fifth. And if you want to write this as a decimal, y 1 fifth is 2 tenths, which is 0 0.2 x. And this is 14 out of 10, which is 1.4. So this is your final answer, y is equal to 0 0.2x plus 1.4, or writing in a fraction is 1 fifth x plus 7 fifth.